actually to log it so that when somebody tries to connect through that um, then we know all about it okay so that's the firewall side um, but we still need to deal... Oh, actually I've missed off one rule on the firewall side um, and this one isn't immediately obvious either you need to allow uh, the traffic for your um, internal network uh, NAT connections as well um, and I'll show you how this works is action accept again and then it's destination address is 192.168.10.0 slash 24 so that's your internal LAN again and because we're good admins let's set a description of a NAT for LAN um, and then let's jump up to because I think we missed a description off for rule 20 as well so let's say allow MSTSC access that's Microsoft Terminal Services client by the way okay let's commit that now back to what I was saying uh, which is once we've done the firewall bit remember we have to do uh, once we do the firewall bit we then have to do the NAT bit otherwise there's nothing to pick up the connection and shove it to the back end um, so let's do that so set service so this is going to be NAT and the previous one was 10 so let's put in this was 20 destination Now this one is your WAN IP address, which in my particular scenario is that. You need to specify the destination port to, which in this case is going to be port 80. It's inbound on ETH0 and then you have to specify where it's going to which is 192.168.10.10 and it's always inside address address and then you need to specify the port to okay that's looking healthy should we commit that and see what we missed out ah we didn't specify a type what type is this do you think out of those is it destination masquerade or source well we see what masquerade is that was when you were taking your LAN and pushing it out it's destination and we missed off protocol so let's put that in as well how are we doing now Hey, that's looking good. Right, and now we need to do exactly the same that we did for um, rule 20 uh, to rule 30. So let's start off by specifying that. And its type is destination as well. The destination address is exactly the same, which is the WAN interface. The only thing that's different is this, which is the port for terminal services. The inside address, we know this one by now, don't we? and then the port and we set the protocol and destination so let's commit that and see what we missed oh we missed out the inbound interface what do you think would be the inbound interface here ETH0 because that's our WAN interface so that is our inbound interface here okay we good now okay so if we do um, show NAT now, oh, show service NAT, 
what have we got? So we've got our normal masquerade gnat, fine. We've got our special gnat here that's a destination gnat that's redirecting it from this particular WAN in this particular WAN IP on this port to this particular LAN IP on this port. And then we've got the same going on there where we've got redirecting from the WAN IP on this port to the LAN IP on this port. And that's good. Okay, so we've committed that and then we've saved it. Now let's actually see if it works, shall we? This is an old cached version. You can see that when I'm doing refresh there, it's actually not working. Hmm. Why is it not working? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the interfaces. And you can see there, we're still only allowing in. We wrote in the beginning, we wrote um, this whole firewall thing of WAN in or whatever, but we made the classic mistake of um, not applying it to the interface. There. So let's do that now. Uh, let's delete off first of all. So there we go, we're just removing the firewall now. And then we're going to bring the new one back in. And the new one is called WAN in. Okay, let's see if that works now. So there was the one that was failing. And there we go, if we hit refresh now, you can see it's going through which is what we want okay so that's web now let's have a look to see whether this works okay awesome so now we can log in so we're now a little guy outside here tunneling in all the way through to our terminal services and we have remote administration which is awesome. Okay, so let's log this off. Now, now we did that. We logged in via web administration, and if you remember, within the rules, uh, was it in the firewall rules? Yes. You see, we told it to log whenever we um, re somebody remotely connected to. Um, our internal server. So let's see whether what the logging has picked up. So if we do a run show log all, oh, just hitting page down here to get all the way down to the bottom. You don't have to do it this way. And there we go. So let's have a look. See if I've got my IP. There we go. That's my IP. 192.168.0.180. I connected to 192.168.10.10 to the internal server, and you've got the destination port there, which is 3389. It even tells you the rule there that allowed the uh, connection through, which is the WAN in and it's rule 20. Okay, well, I think that's about it from me. Um, that pretty much, uh, we've gone from um, having a kind of working box to destroying it and making it not work to finally, uh, at the end of it, um, making it fully working um, and content filtering. Um, and doing everything that we wanted it to do. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I hope to uh, see you in the next one.